If you followed the career of former Bush ethics lawyer and vocal Trump critic Richard Painter, you know that there's a certain phrase that he loves above, above all other phrases. Here it is. Some people see a dumpster fire and do nothing but watch the spectacle. This is a dumpster fire. And it's a dumpster fire with nuclear weapons. This is a dumpster fire. It's a dangerous dumpster fire. It is a dumpster fire. We need somebody to put it out. The dumpster fire in Washington isn't just about uh, Donald Trump, although he certainly contributed a lot to the dumpster fire. Richard Painter joins us tonight. Richard, thank you very much for coming on. Um, Thank you, Tucker. It has come to our attention this obsession with fire, dumpster fires, fire, this, fire, that. You cut an ad about fire. Are you a pyromaniac? Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, we could uh, think of other analogies or metaphors, but most of the metaphors I could think of to describe what's going on in Washington would be entirely inappropriate on uh, national television. Uh, so uh, I think the dumpster fire well, is a good one. Uh, and, but we couldn't uh, help but about... notice, uh, wait, can you see, I don't know if you can see the picture uh, next to you on the screen. This is from your ad uh, that you had up a couple of months ago. We, we show this to our experts and they all point out the same thing, which is there's a fire going on behind you and you do nothing to put it out. Why is that? There's a dumpster fire, but you take no affirmative action to put it out. That well, was very striking did, uh, to us. We had water go on that fire at the end of that ad. Now, this is But a you played no so role. About... You seem to be basking in its well. warmth, and yet you didn't try and douse it. I mean, well, you don't need to be Sigmund Freud real... to suspect there's something going on here. Well, the real dumpster fire is in Washington. I've suggested a lot of ways to clean that up, get the money out of politics, and uh, that's a problem at both political parties. And we had President Trump say he's going to drain the swamp. They brought in a lot of conflicts of interest. Uh, we need to get uh, people out of Washington who have financial conflicts of interest. That included the Democratic senator I was running against, who had five million dollars worth of uh, medical wait a advice. Second. Stock. Hold on. The list goes There's on and on. There's a fire. Wait, hold problems. on. I, this doesn't even make sense. It, honestly, with with respect, I know you're an attorney and a law professor, yeah. but there's a fire going on, but you want to drain the swamp at the same time. Is that even safe? Uh, no, what I'm talking about is we need to I'm address sorry, these problems in, in Washington. Land here. Whether you want to talk about the strain in the swamp or putting out the dumpster fire or some other metaphor that would not be appropriate but you for national can't television, do don't you we see how reckless it is problems. to do both? No, but hold on. Hear what you're saying, uh -huh. Richard. Take a step back here, okay? Fly mm -hmm. like a drone above yourself. Look down and assess. You're saying there's a fire in progress, but we must drain the swamp. Would any responsible person drain a swamp in the middle of a fire? I didn't come up with the drain the swamp language. That was Donald Trump. He hasn't drained anything. He just bought a bunch of backfilling out of New York and New Jersey or wherever he found everybody coming down with financial conflicts of interest. But, you know, the Democrats have their problems, true. So let's let's focus on fixing this Are problem in Washington. Are they on fire, Washington. too? Well, but hold on. Uh, wait. Are they setting uh, fires said, also? Financial conflicts of interest. They, they've got the, the whole uh, Me Too thing, yet they can't figure out what the, what's going on with Keith Ellison out in Minnesota. So the Democrats would, have would problems you, as well on. as whoa, the whoa, whoa, Stop. I want you to, I, I, and I agree with that, of course. My question is, do their problems qualify as a dumpster fire or merely maybe a malfunctioning microwave? I mean, where on the no. kind of heat scale would you put their problems? I'd say they're right in there with the Republican problems. Washington, D.C. is a dumpster fire, and we aren't going to put it out until we get the money out of politics, get the politicians so it's an to start inferno. behaving. Ba basically, you take the Republican yeah, dumpster, absolutely. the Democratic dumpster, put them together, and you've got a conflagration there, don't you? Of course, and everybody just accuses the other party of being corrupt. And as I say, they don't bother Says to the man who those. stood in front of a burning dumpster and did nothing to put it out. I'm not, yeah. We got to go. Uh, Unfortunately, oh, Richard, oh, good luck. Thank Get you, the Tucker. hose, take control, put out that fire. Good to see you. That is it for us this week. Be sure to tune into the show Monday. We will be here an exclusive story about big tech working to change the 2016 election results. Monday night, don't miss it.